Hello and welcome back guys. All right, so in this one, we want to create the scene feature so that we can know when somebody has seen our message. So a good way, I think, to uh, I've noticed this on Facebook is that when you begin to type a new message, then the message on the other side is marked as having been seen. So I think we can use that same trigger. So when somebody clicks on this area right here, we can confidently say they have seen the messages contained in there. Or when they start typing here, we can know that they have obviously seen the messages that are here. So we can use that as a trigger. So if you go to our uh, table here, the messages table, we have a seen column right here. So zero means unseen, one means seen. So obviously the only one who should mark this as seen should be the recipient. So the receiver should mark as seen. However, it's possible, it's also possible that the messages have not been received here and we might end up marking them as seen as long as we start typing here. So to avoid that, we can use the received section here. So first a message must be marked as received before it can be marked as seen. That only makes sense because you can't see a message that you haven't received yet. So we have to start with the received and then mark the scene. Okay, so great. So to do that, uh, I also actually got a, some images here, which I added to the UI images. And there's one here with a tick. So, these are the blue ticks from, uh, I don't know how to zoom out in this particular thing, but these are some blue ticks here. Let me go to my UI. I think you can clearly see them here. All right, so there we go. So this is a PNG image I got from Google. So just, just Google it and you, you will find it on Google. There's plenty, so just choose one. All right, so if we go back to, um, in the includes folder and in chats because this is where we're receiving our chats from so every time the page refreshes with new messages uh, we are going through the chat.php page so this is where we can actually mark our messages so what do we check for when marking the message we have to check if we are the recipient then we can mark that message as having been received if we have re read it from the database okay so easy peasy so here we are doing our sql and then here we are going through it and supplying left message right message and left message so right here we can check to see what's contained in the message and who is the recipient let me remove that word wrap there okay so at this point db my user Actually, we're looking for data in here because that's what contains the messages. So, can put an if statement here going if, oops, if data uh, receiver, okay? If data receiver is the same as my user ID, okay, which is this one right here, it definitely means I am receiving this message. So if this is true, then we're going to mark this section here. So we're going to say DB write, like so. And we're going to, we're not going to check if this actually worked or not by uh, sending the result to a variable here because it's not really a big deal. If it doesn't work, it's, it's, it's not much. So we're just going to say, uh, db write and then we're going to say update update um, messages set uh, received is equal to one where we have to tell it where to do this now a good way to know the to be very specific here would be to just get the actual id at the beginning here because these, we definitely know there is primary index and it's going to be unique. And it's readily available here because we have it in data. 
so I'm simply going to say here I will say ID actually let me go outside the loop because certain things if you can assign them from outside the loop oh no I can't actually because data only appears here okay so this is fine here I'm just going to say ID uh, is equal to or maybe there's no need to send an array let me just say where id is equal to that id and then i'm going to tell it to limit one like so okay so i don't need to supply an array here because i'm not giving it uh, i'm not giving it multiple now I could put inverted commas here, just single quotes there. That will be fine. Okay, so update messages set received is equal to one where ID is equal to whatever that is. Okay, so let's see if that's going to actually work. So that I, now that I've saved it and we are using Ajax uh, here, I should actually see a change here already. So let me just refresh this database page. And right there, I see a one that has already occurred. This has happened because as I'm typing there, it keeps reading from that page. Okay. Okay, so received. This one has been received. So what message is this one? It says, hey there, I'm good and you. So let's see what message that is. So it's this one. Hey there, I'm good and you. Okay. So this one is... Uh, so I am this user, and this one is Mary, which is the other user, is not active here. So what this actually means is that uh, this scene received status will not show on mine, but it's going to show when this user is actually logged in to see that I have actually received this particular message, okay? So we're going to have two sets of ticks one will be blue ticks and the other one will be uh, grayed ones so the gray ones will show that uh, the user has received and the blue ones will show that the user has actually seen the message okay so the same way we've hijacked this uh, chats.php to activate our received status we can use the same thing to activate our scene status instead of creating a new file that will specifically do that you can do that if you want, but uh, I think we can still use the same formula right here. Okay, now what we need to do is to know when the user has actually seen the messages. So let's go to the index.php page, which is interacting with the user. And then let's go down here where we are uh, going to create down on the JavaScript here. So as you can see here, we know who the current chat user is. So we can create a similar variable where the uh, scene status can be. Okay, scene status. Oh, I forgot an S there. Right, so scene status is equal to false. So let's start with false right there. Okay. So since we are starting with false, uh, that is good. And then what will happen is every time we read from the messages, we're going to change our scene status to false. Okay, so we're going to reaffirm this uh, scene status. Once the messages have been brought in, we set it to false. And then when I click on um, here to start typing, then we can change this to true. Okay, so once we change this to true, if uh, it's at all right it's a true and then when we want to read again from the messages we can take that into account and then go to the other side and before we convert a message to received we must first uh, check if it has been seen or not so that we don't Otherwise, it becomes a self kind of a self fulfilling prophecy where we mark a message as received and then immediately we will have to mark it as seen. So we'll do exactly what's here, but we'll do it before this section so that as it is reading, 
all those messages that have already been received can be marked as seen if that is this thing is true okay so to start with let me make sure that i'm setting the scene status to false every time some messages are received so to do that we're going to go here where we are deciding what to do with the information and this is the handle result function so let me come down here to chats there's chats refresh and then there's also just chats okay so at this point we're just going to check if the actually we don't need to check we're just going to set it to false on both occasions when we are refreshing and when we are sending chats so let's see what else is here okay so right there i can put it right at the beginning here so i can just say uh, scene status is equal to false just like that that's the first thing that gets ex executed there and I'm going to add the same thing here. So scene status equals false. And then now down here, we can go to this uh, functions neighborhood where we can create a new function here. Just down here, I'm going to say function. And this one, function set scene. So you can name these functions anything you want, really. It's not a big deal. So let me put that bracket there. So once a message has been seen, we can simply mark it here and just say scene status is equal to true. Ooh, that's not true. That is true. Okay, so scene status is equal to true and the other one sets it to false. Okay, and now there's also when we are typing, we already have a function that runs every time we type in here. So we can take advantage of that one and let's just come here and where is that uh, enter pressed this is the one right here so this one checks for whether we've clicked on the uh, enter key however it also fires every time a key is pressed which is awesome so now we can use this to set the status to true okay great so set scene right here we can copy this function right here copy there and th that way we can actually trigger it with this section here so right phone call right there all right so if i go to chats here chats.php um this is where we have the overall uh thing here this thing and this is the messages holder parent. So right here, we can put an on-click listener to listen for when the user has clicked that section. Okay, so let's do that right now. I'll say on-click like that. Okay. Is equal to and we are using the single quotes here let me move this closer and hit like so and then i'm going to put the event change the e to event because you need the actual event word here otherwise it's not going to work all right so at this point this activates what we want it to activate let's give it a, a test run so i'll have to refresh the page here since i'm editing the index page for all these things to actually run so scene status all that okay also we need to be able to use the scene status here so let me go where the messages get is it send message uh actually read message so let's come down here enter pressed uh, send message get chats so this is the one we are looking for so get get data chats right there so here as you can re uh, if you remember correctly we have an opportunity here in the empty object to actually send some data while we are getting data from the api 
So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to add a few pieces of data the same way we added this here. So this one is send message. Okay, so it's sending message, we send the ID and so on. Uh, but here, what we wanna do is set, uh, okay, right there, get chats. So at this point, I'm going to say scene, uh, I think I can use scene as it is like, like that. So scene is equal to whatever the scene status is at that time. So like this, scene is equal to scene status. And then uh, I think that's about it that we need. 